entropy, the tendency toward chaos. Can order come out of randomness? Can time be turned backwards? How many coincidences need to align before the probability of an orderly outcome is so infinitesimal that it must have been by design? The architect of the universe is speaking to this world today through heavenly coincidences of galactic proportions. Recently, scientists who tuned their instruments to discern the mysteries of the universe for the first time identified the source of a so-called fast radio burst within our own galaxy. This exciting discovery opened new horizons for study. Fast radio bursts, or FRBs, are short millisecond long bursts of radio waves from the cosmos. They are intensely powerful, emanating in that millisecond as much energy as our sun gives off in 80 years. That is a powerful signal, making it no wonder that astronomers can pick up these radio waves even from distant galaxies. But could God be speaking to us through the FRB of our own galaxy? On November 16, 2020, the eve of a very special day on God's clock, Science Alert announced the first peer-reviewed results confirming that the recently discovered FRB in our galaxy is repeating, adding to the excitement of possibly gaining new insights into this little understood phenomenon. This FRB has been identified as originating from a highly magnetized stellar remnant known as a magnetar. This magnetar is located on the galactic equator at a declination that makes it look like this voice is coming out of the mouth of Aquila, the eagle. The eagle represents one of the four living beings around the throne of God, and in the constellation of Orion, it is represented by the star Rigel. According to the Orion clock, this hour mark corresponds to the date of November 16, 17, 2020, evening to evening. Was it mere coincidence that the announcement of this magnetar's radio voice coming from the mouth of the eagle hit the press on the eve of the eagle's position on the Orion clock? Radio waves have been used for more than a century as a medium for communicating audible voice messages by modulating the signal with the message to be transmitted. Could God be using this powerful means to transmit His voice to us? And what is it saying? The aforementioned article states that our galaxy's own FRB source offers scientists an excellent laboratory for investigation of the phenomenon, to the point that it is called a dream come true. Now, if this FRB source is sending a message from God, could that message also be a dream come true? God promises in the Bible many things to those who put their trust in Him. Foremost is the promise of an eternal life of peace and happiness, the restoration of what Adam lost through sin. Have you ever fallen? Is your life still broken from the effects of wrong? Do you still dream of being restored? Perhaps this message will be a dream come true not only for the scientists, but also for you. Secondly, and this is what all the people of God who died in past ages are still waiting for, God promises a resurrection even from death, a feat that is beyond all human wisdom to accomplish, but which was demonstrated in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and all the evangelists of Christendom have been aiming for one thing to present the compelling evidence that Christ was raised from the dead and is alive forevermore, and that you can trust yourself to Him even through death, because He promised that He will return for His followers. 
what does this blessed hope have to do with fast radio bursts? The story of our galaxy's FRB-emitting magnetar begins with an X-ray flare detected from this dead star on what is another very important date on the clock of God. The Swift Burst Alert Telescope first alerted the astronomical community to an increase in activity from the remnant with the detection of a flare on April 27, 2020. The next day, the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, CHIME, first reported the detection of two bright radio bursts from 400 MHz to 800 MHz in the direction of the remnant, establishing the link between radio emission and the remnant. Turning back the Orion clock to the date of April 27, 2020, marks the first throne line on the right side the throne lines mark a short span of time in which God sends a message directly from his throne. These two lines indicate April 27 and 29, which in heavenly terms is a very short millisecond of time in which to communicate a powerful message. The Science Alert article reports on this initial FRB that on April 28, 2020, a dead, highly magnetized star within our own galaxy, just 30,000 light years away, was recorded emitting an incredibly powerful millisecond duration burst of radio waves. Thus began the exciting journey in discovering what the heavens have to say through FRBs. Could it be more than just another mere coincidence that this opening salvo from a dead star is indicated on the Orion clock as the voice of God directly from his throne? What is he saying? The beginning date of April 27 is not just a mark on the Orion clock. In fact, it is an allusion to the resurrection of Christ through an event called the Sign of Jonah. The Sign of Jonah was the brightest gamma ray burst ever recorded coming from a distance of 3.6 billion light years away, yet so powerful that the scientists described it as eye-wateringly bright. A small group of people were expecting big things for the very hour in which that GRB flashed, because on the biblical calendar, that Sabbath of April 27, 2013, was the day of the first fruits offering which is the day Jesus Christ was resurrected two days after the Passover. Exactly seven years after that GRB, remember that, seven years later, the voice of God bursts forth now on the radio spectrum, again on April 27, emphasizing the resurrection of Christ, which is the hope of all those who put their trust in Him. Just like distant lightning that is later answered by the rumble of localized thunder, that flash of light coming from a distant galaxy in the constellation of Leo in 2013 has elicited the radio response from our galaxy. Jesus sent the signal of his coming in 2013, and now the homing beacon has been activated. Seven years is one hour on the Orion clock, and thus Earth's judgment comes as it is written. Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. The first repeat signal from this FRB source after the initial detection arrived on yet another important date loaded with significance. May 24, 2020 the eve of the anniversary of Christ's crucifixion, the anniversary of his agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. With new vaccines now available and pressure mounting every day to take such in order to get back to normal, many conscientious people are entering their own Gethsemane. Please watch our video, The Threefold Mark of the Beast. Will you take the vaccine? Or will you refuse and risk civil consequences, such as ultimately imprisonment? 
prisoners who contract the coronavirus are then placed together to die in isolation without any further care. What they do is, if you're sick, um, they, they take you away and they put everybody on lockdown. But I said, what do you mean, where do they take them? What do you mean they take you away? Oh, there's no doctors, nope. You don't go to the hospital, nope. They take you to the, the gymnasium, to the gym, where everybody else that, that has coronavirus is, so you could die there. That's what he said. But God, who sent his son to suffer and die on your behalf, is speaking from the heavens. And his message is a message of comfort. Can it be mere coincidence that the first two bursts from the first FRB source in our galaxy happened on days that are connected to the two most important events in the life of Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection? When the second burst happened was also when the great earthquake of George Floyd's death jolted the United States of America and other countries into a frenzy of violent protests this, along with the throne line dates associated with the first burst, are two key dates in the sign of the Ark of God's Covenant in the heavens. This magnificent sign of the Ark of the Covenant is explained in written articles on our website, so please read more details there. But suffice it to say that we are indeed dealing here with a message from the throne of God, the seat of judgment, and it is one of the great signs and wonders of our day. Yet a third fast radio burst is mentioned in the Science Alert article as happening on October 8, 2020. This date is also a highly important date on the Orion clock. Again, this is explained more fully in written form in the article entitled The Seven Angels of Vengeance. The return of Jesus and the associated judgment, although a terror to the wicked, is good news for those who obey Christ, because it is when their oppression is turned to liberation and victory is gained over the oppressor. Jesus Christ fights for his people. Thus, October 8, 2020 is a date associated not only with judgment, the judgment of the world by Jesus Christ. But the FRB being on this date also hints to a third momentous event in his life that Christians have been hoping to see for two millennia, the return of the King of Kings. Another mere coincidence? How can it be that the three most notable fast radio bursts from our galaxy happened on dates that express these three important acts of the Savior who also created the universe. Is our galaxy, our planet, the center of the universe? It might not have been before, but after what the Son of God did with this planet, this galaxy will become the universal seat of his eternal kingdom. Like a homing beacon, this magnetar is sending its signal through the dark night of intergalactic space, like an SOS call from the host galaxy of a doomed world. And the signature of this call contains the identification data of our Lord and Savior, the owner of this planet, who made his final decision on a May 24 to give his life for ours, and who overcame death and rose again to bring first fruits to God on the day of first fruits, and who is now judging the world at its end. As war between Israel and Iran seems to be the unspoken reality of our day, and which will likely draw in other world powers and thus lead to the third world war, it is becoming clear that Judgment Day is already underway. These three FRBs each fall within the time frame of one of the three woes of the Eagle of the Fourth Trumpet of Revelation, as shown in the article The Coming of Christ. Another reason why God chose this magnetar coming out of the mouth of Aquila to deliver this message on the Eagle date of November 16, 17, 2020. The trumpets already sounded and the warning of the woes has already been given but now the dreaded birth pangs have finally arrived. Will Jesus deliver you from your travail? 
He will answer the SOS call from the Milky Way. It was sent in his name. In fact, he is already on the way. In the sign of the Ark of the Covenant, the second covering cherub, the angel Gabriel, was visible to the naked eye in the form of a different type of angel, a comet. The comet Neowise appeared just in time to give the world a visual impression of the second covering cherub. But what about the first covering cherub, which represents the first anointed one, namely Jesus Christ? Where was his comet? The eagle that is associated with the initial FRB and the date on which it was detected is suggestive of the arrival of another angel, or comet. Indeed, there have been some comets coming and going lately, but they haven't generally been visible to the naked eye like Neowise was. However, another bright comet has appeared recently that should be visible, Comet Erasmus. What is especially interesting is that Erasmus has a 2,000 year period highly suggestive of the return of Jesus Christ who walked this earth that many years ago. Could this be the comet of the first covering cherub? The name Erasmus means desired or beloved or worthy of love. Is it not a fitting name for the desire of ages, for the only Son of Man who is worthy of supreme love? Comet Erasmus made its closest approach to Earth on November 19, 2020, just two days after the Eagle segment of the Orion clock began. Another two days later, it moved from the constellation of Virgo to Libra, the scales, which signifies the role of judgment that Jesus is now performing. Furthermore, it is estimated to reach its brightest on December 12. As space weather puts it, only the glare of the nearby sun will prevent it from being visible to the naked eye. But can this comet represent the covering cherub if it cannot even be seen because of the sun? Or is God able to do something even more impressive? On December 14, Within two days of the comet's maximum brightness, the moon will eclipse the sun, allowing one spectacular glimpse of the comet that represents Jesus Christ and his return, while the total eclipse portrays his sign, the sign of the Son of Man. Read the article by that name to understand what this means. This is the symbol of a black hole, the darkness behind which God cloaks his power. Like the black hole named Povehi, such a dark, fathomless source of unending creation is the throne of our galaxy. And this throne has just come closer. The most recent results from radio astronomy now indicate that we are 2,000 light years closer to the supermassive black hole at the galactic center than previously thought. 2,000 light years, that is the same distance light has traveled since the time Christ walked this earth until now. Wow, do you think all this is just mere coincidence? No, God is speaking through the heavens, and no man can plan or orchestrate the movements of the heavenly bodies. Look at this eclipse. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, like the eagles, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. The devouring of flesh by the birds of prey is an apt figure for the war that is on the horizon. The heavens have pronounced it, and the earth will now receive her judgment. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord they shall inherit the earth. God is powerful. He directs not only the movements of the stars, but also the affairs of his children on the earth. Have you put your trust in him? Have you accepted God's gift to you, his only begotten son, who took the consequences of your mistakes upon himself and suffered a life of sorrow and a painful and unjust death for your sake? You've made mistakes more than you recognize. We all have. 
but there is one who loves us more than we can imagine, stronger than eternal death, and he is coming back for us. The rescue of my people shall come very soon. I am the Lord thy God. And I heard the Lord said to me, Shout it out, my child. Repent, repent, repent. And for those of you who don't know what repent means, it means to turn away from your sin and seek Jesus Christ with all your heart. My brothers and sisters, get baptized and, re and repent. How long will it be till salvation comes? You've seen throughout this video how God has spoken from the heavens to confirm the Orion clock, which itself is a picture of his son. Orion represents Jesus. He is the mighty warrior depicted there, and through the Orion constellation, he tells the time of his return. It is not far away. In case you feel it's too early and you haven't been in tribulation yet, remember that all the chaos that is destroying Christians today began in the year 2013 with the election of a Jesuit Pope who took the world by storm with words like, Who am I to judge? Well, he's right. He does not have good judgment. Two years later, under the spiritual leadership of his uh, self-admitted incapacity to judge what is right, America and other nations codified the abomination of sodomy into law, contrary to God's word. A reprieve was granted for repentance, but it never came. Now Jesus is declaring from the heavens in answer, I am the one to judge. Jesus is at war with Satan. This means his people on earth are headed into persecution as never before, and this too will be visible in the heavenly theater on December 21, one solstice before Jesus' return, with Jupiter acting as Jesus and Saturn as Satan. Space Weather notes that something special is happening in the sunset sky. It's a great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, the two giant planets are converging for a close encounter, the likes of which have not been seen since the Middle Ages. Jesus is advancing. Let him keep full charge of your life and wait on him for your salvation. He will execute righteous judgment and save those who put their trust in him. He is coming back, and according to the Orion clock, his return is only a few months away. June 21, 2021. Read The Seven Angels of Vengeance for more information. Hold on to your faith, and do not trade away eternity for this weary and fleeting life. Even if you have to make the ultimate sacrifice and die in honor of the Lord, he has all power and will resurrect the faithful not many days hence. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Until then, never give up hope. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So, in the meantime, visit us at whitecloudfarm.org, where you can watch our other videos and read the articles mentioned here. And please, let us know how you're doing, and how you're managing to avoid getting vaccinated in your area. Although we each must stand alone, we can mutually encourage one another. God be with you. Amen.